anybody can be better than Summer, right? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um. All right, let's just start with the arms. What, what time did you finish your last workout last night? Early, because I had the house showing at... Oh, that's right. The house showing was at 5. I was done at 5. I finished at 5 exactly, okay. I guess. And what time did you go to bed last night? 9? Yeah, okay. 9. All right, 10. that sounds good. So just start with uh, just little pogos, just straight away. Just 10 of them. All right, pull the elbows back. Just relax and do another 10. Okay, good. Arms up, walking forward, set the chest, remember? Good, there you go. And work into that one and see them quite aggressive at the end. I don't you know how to do this without straining my face. Those are your scalings when you're trying to push up, right? I'll teach you a weird straining your face trick. Okay. If you stick your tongue between your teeth and your gum on the bottom, you can't tighten the muscles in your neck. It's impossible. See that? Mm -hmm. It's a weird little drill. Mm -hmm. It's back to the conversation about the brook trout, right? Yes. Pulling further back with the arms. I'm always trying to remember what that coach is. Bud Winter was his name. Huh. It's a wonderful story. So I'm doing... 12, three minutes. 12, yes. Yeah. Six up, six down. Good, I'm glad you got that <laughs> because I've actually been worrying for three days thinking, does Gwen think it's six or does she know it's 12? Well, I, this is what I needed to hear because <laughs> I wasn't 100% sure. Okay. All right, then relax. Just shake them out. All right, so same tongue in front of the teeth, mm -hmm. forward like real lazy to start with. And then all I want you to focus on is getting high at the end of it. Start with your thumbs back. Like that, no, other way. Yeah, so now, no, no, sorry. <laughs> thumb on top, there you go. Which are you going, so backwards or forward? Backwards, thumb back, and then when you come over, think you're coming over a big ball then it's not so hard on your shoulders. Yep. That's exactly right. Glad you didn't have to do butterfly. <laughs> I was horrible at you, butterfly. You would be so short. I was so bad at it. <laughs> and back, know, I, I always thought it was my Back with kick, little though. finger. Little finger lead, yeah? I always thought it was my Oh, kick yeah, it can me. be your kick. Because I have, I don't have much flexibility in my feet, which is good for running, right? The bad yes. coming. Exactly. Well, you have flexibility in your feet, but the right way. Physiotherapists hate triathletes because they need dorsiflexion and plantiflexion, <laughs> and they don't have either. <laughs> okay, good. Right. And your hands sit. And, and sit, yep. All the way down. Don't need me. Don't need me. Don't need me. There you go. And up again. That's, I didn't, you I mean... I don't know, are you holding it a lot? No, I'm not. It doesn't feel like it. Well, you're placing a little uphill on it, which should, that's the way it should be. That's good, you're getting there. Yeah. Good. Alright, back that way again, mind the top. Into my hands, left and right. downhill straight into heel walks. I love the lean back, that's good. <laughs> Watch my arms, just right hand, left foot, right hand, left foot, right hand, left foot, here we go. Change this plane, you here, mm -hmm. I want you here, underneath, there we go. Head up a little bit, there you go. a little bit more. There we go. And now relax your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That's the best drill in the book. Now, pull them, let them go. Because it's so weird, you've got a lot of range of motion here. Yeah. And you've got a lot of range of motion here. Uh -huh. But you don't have range of motion yeah. here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Normally, go straight into roll-ups, go hard on the down end as well. Think elbows, 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 there you go. And you can push up, push up, push up, push up, push up, push up, and away up. There, see then when I let go? Yep. Now you're coming up. You really just want to feel you're going from the heel to the big toe and you're really using the arch. Good and relax, no walks. Good straight to heel walks again. Roll ups. A little longer on the up. Make the long, really try and almost fall over your big toe now. Good toe walks. Shake it out. Very soon Stanley can do these with you. <laughs> He'd I'm be better than me. <laughs> no, well, what I'm saying is it's really good for them drills. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because, yeah. No, but you'll notice how good you are when he stops. <laughs> because he'll have a really hard time getting compact, you know. Yeah. All right, knee hugs. And all I want you to think about is raise the front toe via the glute. Don't stop them. Let it go. Big pull, but instantly let it go. Just think it's a rubber band. Let it go. That's it. Just coordinating that glute contraction with the fire. Nice on the asphalt how you're stacking the sides versus the synthetic grass. Oh, yes. No, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that. That asphalt is not very flat. No, no, it's not. Well, it's uneven, so the edges yes. of your shoes dig into it. Yes. And so now you lose your balance. Yes. So it's really good kinesthetically because it forces you to be balanced before you go up yep. and not catch yourself. You know that in your core you have two kinds of muscles, right? Muscles that fire preemptively before you hit the ground yep. okay. and muscles that fire once you hit the ground. Yep. And that's lost form waist. Yep. All right up the back. Just quad tucks. And again that up I want to see it kind of muscular and crisp and the toe is up. Really crisp and then tuck. We're gonna look and see if we have some before and after video. You are a thousand times better. Especially with this drum. Probably from two years ago we have some video. Yep, yep. It's always when I'm working with you, if somebody else isn't taking video, yeah, then I don't zero. get video. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. That's what I'm saying. That YouTube clip of you doing that workout was really useful for me. Yeah, from two. From yeah, yeah, because the workout turned out better than I thought it was. It was really. I know. It was weird. Evan was like, oh yeah, I know a flat place. Yeah. Oh, no, you started at a parking lot up there. Yes. Then and you we went, went out, down. We went out that way. Yeah, I know. And then yeah. you made a U-turn. Yes. Because it was going to start climbing just <laughs> after, before, after that yes. U-turn too. And then when you turned, it was better. Yes. Good. Combos. Go pick the toe up first. That's it. Keep it up. You want to feel any stage when I'm doing this. If I go up, you can stop dead and not yeah. fall over. That's that's the kind of feeling you want to get. Our new place that we're staying at, Bobby. Yep. I get lost. Oh, it's so big. It's, well, it's um, it's a townhome that's really tall. Oh yeah. So it has four stories, <laughs> but there's like one bedroom. Or one room on each floor. Oh dear. And I just get so confused. So Stanley's on another floor. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. That's a little problematic. <laughs> it's okay though. He's yeah, old yeah. enough now. Like I do worry though that I can't hear him. Okay. All right. All right. Straight away there. Just stand near that crack with your toes on the crack. 
punt, overhead squat, nice and wide stance. Wide, wide, wide. So like same thing as yeah, you do. Exactly. So you want my arms up? Yes, straight, straight elbows. Okay, go down straight first elbows. with the sit. Come into my hand with the sit. There you go. Sit, 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 sit. There you go. Nice with the upper body. Push up. And one more. Sit, 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 sit. Good. Getting better with those two. Pull the arms back one more time. There we go. Go back. Excellent. So I'm kind of glad you don't have the bar because you dislocate your shoulders when you do that. You, 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 you flip out here, yep. which is what saved you as a swimmer. But with this drill, I really want you to feel it's your body, not your arms. Yeah. Yep. I want you getting way stupid back here. Yep. Okay, that's good. All right, let's just go lunge with Twitter. No, internal rotates. External rotates. Yeah, you know, first those ones, fine. What, what's the in, oh, this one. one? Yeah, extend right there. Sorry. No floppy ankle. I don't want to see your toe doing this. When I see your toe doing that, I'm thinking of you running off the bike in Tuscaloosa and dying. Oh, yeah, that was a bad run. <laughs> but I have video, slow motion video of your foot hitting the ground and then four foot hitting the ground and bouncing. Literally like that. I just always thought it was, it was too hot there. Why not? Pat let him, and he almost fell, but he was like, I mean, he was literally two or yeah. two and a half, maybe. And ever since then, I banned it. And no, I guess he's a little, he's more in tune with his body, but yep, still, yep. like, one little misstep. Yep. Well, wait until he's 14, then it gets even worse, because <laughs> then he doesn't have a single <laughs> sense of safety. Really, the brain is completely disconnected. Weird. He has, yeah, he does have limits now. Yeah. Yeah, they did research years ago in the 70s where they have uh, babies on glass with oh, wood yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they crawl yeah. off and, and there comes fine. a point when they don't crawl off. Huh. You know, but in age. Yeah, exactly. Where they know, okay, now it's falling time. Yeah. But then it reverses when they get like 13, 14, 15. I don't see any danger in any situation. Is that just because of hormones? No, brain. Huh. The back of the brain and the prefrontal cortex are completely disconnected. Huh. And you know what? It doesn't get completely connected until 26 for men. It's stupid. <laughs> That's why you don't find extreme. Mature. Yeah. yeah. In other words, a wider step. There we go. So you see how your thigh is now close to parallel? That's yep. like So I see the cadence was down on the dirt. I just felt like there was no grip. Yeah, well then the... I mean, it wasn't, it was, it wasn't down that much. Yeah. But... Have you, have you seen what they did with their shoes No. They, they've got two kinds of meta races. Yeah. One is for people who are trying to improve their cadence. Oh, really? And the one is for people that are trying to lengthen their stride. So I think it's to do with the thickness and the length of the carbon plate. Yep. But um, I'm going to go look into it more. I don't know if Pat or your agent are talking to them at all. Yeah, we have contacts there. Okay. I really like the music shoes. They were very thoughtful. That second right? one, though. Oh. It's an opportunity for you to go fast, real, yep. crisp, yep. you know, instead of being so deliberate about it. You make it look so easy. <laughs> You know what wing, wing dings are? Nope. It's a type of writing okay. in, in, in Windows. Okay. And it's completely nonsensical. Okay, it's one font that is completely nonsensical. Yep. So one day I want you to do some accounting spreadsheets with wing dings because that's what you need here. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> just completely out of it. Knuckle drags. Knuckle drags. Mm. More 
sit at the back more reach. That's it. Just get that timing coordinated with the body. So here, all the weight's on the back leg, and then I drop down first while I'm at the back, and then I go down, and then I go back. So how much rest is between the uh, downhill and the uphill? A minute. What? Just One minute between both? Yes. So what's the workout? Like the uphill and the downhill and the downhill and the uphill? Yep. Minute, 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 minute. So it's, it's close to continuous. Yep. That's why the pace is not so wild. Yep. And remember on the way down here, this is the workout that I stopped because it was going too well. Yep. And she got a world record. <laughs> okay. So this is one where it's really easy down here to yeah. get carried away. But if you start going any faster than like 317s, then I'm, if I'm you do downhill. Two, yeah, if you do two in a row, I'm going to say we're done. Okay. So I need to go slow. Yeah, just let's see what the first one is. Yep. But yeah. You know, it'd be cool if you could run sea level half marathon pace. And if you look at the speed you ran the end of the 35 minutes, yep. when you were coming down this section, yep. that's round about where we want it. Yep. So it's 12 three minute efforts. Mm -hmm. Six of them up, six of them down. Okay. Three minute effort so, up, one minute okay. jog. One minute jog. Yeah, just like walk and then jog and then kind of. Are we so starting at the same spot where? No, on the way down. We're starting one minute out. Wherever we get to, yep. you go a minute out. Yep. And then, then start turn from around, there. come back, and then the minute here goes down. Yep. Over. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, because it's going to be very different dif distances. Yep. You know, I don't know. You get maybe 900 meters on the way down and 750 on the way up, yep. kind of thing. Yep. Okay. So nice, easy. Uh, Jog? Yep. Actually, no. Let's do harness first. This is the weirdest thing that you've run, and it's a wonderful thing. That whenever I do something like that where I'm aware of what you're putting out, it's you're better. No, you're so strong compared to everybody else that I do, including the boys. You know, so, you so why does it translate over? It is translating over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you keep forgetting that you run 1510 for 5K. Sorry, 1509.89 or whatever it was. All right. Arms up and jog. And up. And relax. It's so difficult. But I'm saying, like, why doesn't that cadence translate? Oh, the cadence. Well, you're still within range, right? So I just think in the marathon. So if you were 88 or 86, I would worry. Yeah. But they talk about 90 to 110. Yeah. Or 92 to 110. Yep. And you're right there. Yeah. And it's, it's the math of running, right? What is the math of running? Stride length times stride Good rate. Yeah. yeah. So you either have long right strides right and a slower cadence, because you can't have a 1.76 meter stride and have 110 steps right. a minute. Be too fast. Because then you want you saying bolt, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So just take a nice jog down there. To uh, probably all the way down to say hi to Stanley, then turn around, do your first alactic stride, 16 steps towards yeah. me. Alactic stride. Alactic. Is that what he said? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's 16 steps. Uh, roughly, you know, it's just dumb for them to watch their stopwatches when they're doing strides, yeah, but you I mean, do want to keep strides alactic, yeah. you know. So two components, one is it has to be under nine seconds, mm -hmm. and the second one is, is there needs to be a lot of recovery, because otherwise they heap on top of each other. Yeah. And distance athletes are kind of strange, they, they understand recovery centrally, they don't understand peripheral recovery mm -hmm. like, like sprinters do. Right. You know, it's not the, it's not the hierarchy feel for them. Just you get stuck in the front, just just think down and away. Yep. Away. 
You know, and remember when you were running at your best, you were doing this at the back. Yep. But when you're doing strides, you've got to let that hand go a bit. It comes okay. down and opens a little bit. Yep. Okay. All right. Same thing? Yep, same thing. Just, just build it a bit more. That one, it looks like you kind of got stuck upright. Yep. Hmm. Just stay down. Much better. But I want you to see this as thirds, right? So this is the middle third. Yep. This is the front third. Yep. And then this is the back third. Yep. And you're still a little bit away. Back. You're still in the front third. Yep. Yeah. So I really want you to feel I'm reaching with my elbow, but that's a setting. This is a pull. Pull. Yep. Pull. All right. So if, if, even when I demonstrated with high knees, it's so easy to see, right? This is where you are. Yeah. And this is where I want you. Yeah. See the difference? Yep. Okay. All right. Now you can go that way, Gwen. Uh, now it's uh, 15 seconds. Okay. All right. Feels and I'll me. whistle this round for you. Yeah. All right, so just jog and roll into it. You have the cold face. Yep. So just expect it to be a fight from the, yep. from the minute it starts. Yep. I look that bad. Hey? Huh? I look that bad. No, just I can just see it's in yeah. there. You yeah. Know, you, you, you know, you know, you don't feel smooth. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's why we're going through all these damn <laughs> right? Uh, all right. So the same thing. So the next one's 20 seconds, but this one I want you to feel the pace you're going to run at. So okay. That, that 15 was still fast. Okay. Okay. So this one I really want you to go. Okay. All I'm doing is just settling into the pace I'm going to do. Put this around you, and we'll govern that before, and then I'll just say, ready, go, and then I'll let you go. You good? Yep. Hi. And then we'll go. That's perfect. Ready? Oops. Now we're doing just a run up to the asphalt. Yep. To there. All right. And, uh, all, all the way up to the asphalt. I just want you to feel bold, 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 bold till you're at pace. Until I get to the gravel. Until you get to the gravel. Yeah. And then immediately turn around and jog. And we'll start just as a side. And mark, we're going to get right into starting it. Yeah. Can I go pee? Good? I want to change shoes and go pee. Absolutely. And then I'll do this? All right. Yes. Okay. 